Hello everyone and welcome to Moonride where we're channeling the man and the moon. So I'd like you all just to take a moment to uh, think of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, think of the wonderful contributions that she has made and the incredibly difficult position uh, she was in. Uh, what a hero. And um, if for a moment you could just sort of you know, kind of take a look and maybe bring her presence before you and say thanks. Thanks for hanging on for so long. Uh, we'll see what happens. But um, it was really quite marvelous uh, what she did do and uh, how long she was able to continue. So thanks Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Now, we're all asking the big question, what's going to happen? You know, what's this going to mean for our election? And uh, I'm going to ask that question right now. All right. So Spirit, what will happen? Well, how, how will this um, alter the election one way or the other? Hmm. So um, here's Ruth Bader Ginsburg, I can see her, and out of her are sort of emanating blue rings, and they're just blue rings, blue rings, blue rings. To me, this means that this is really going to consolidate the left. If it wasn't already consolidated, this is going to consolidate them further. Um, there are, you know, maybe some people who are not that motivated to vote on the left, or maybe there are people who are not as, um, you know not as upset by Trump. They just take politics as part for the course. But this just gives me the feeling that people will really rally around the idea that uh, we don't want to overturn Roe v. Wade or rights for gay and lesbian people or, um, you know, it just seems like a wider emanation from here. I mean, I think most of those people are already on board, but this just looks like it's wider. Now there's a red current, sort of a red flow, sort of on the outside of this, but you know, it doesn't look like an emanating circle. It looks like a river and it's flowing. Is it going to flow any wider now? What do you think? Not really. You know, people who are, you know, against Choice are against choice. They didn't, they're not going to change their minds, and they already hold very strong views. Uh, that's not going to change now. Yeah, I actually see they will lose a little bit on the right, uh, just a tiny bit, because the, there are some people on the right who, um, believe it or not, um, are pro-choice, but still Republican. I know people like this personally, and I think this will give them pause. That's just what it seems like. Again, it's sort of an interesting image. It almost looks like little boxes, but some of those little boxes in red are just a few of them are now yellow. So they're sort of, maybe they're not gonna vote or uh, maybe they um, maybe they do actually change their minds. I'm not sure they become blue, but I think that maybe some of them just don't vote. Mm -hmm. And this emanating sort of blue circle of sort of boxes seems to get just bigger. It's funny because it shows up as a circle while uh, Republicans show up as a line, like a river. I mean, it's a wide line, but um, again, it just seems like the blue circle is getting bigger. Um, yeah, I just wonder if, you know, we're just gonna get better turnout uh, because it's such a crisis. I mean, we all know it was a crisis already, but. Um, for some people, you know, they work three jobs, they don't, you know, they're, maybe they're going to college, they, they don't have time to vote. Um, they really don't. And um, that that's not a, um, you know, that, that's not a judgment right there. But I think this will make maybe the difference. They will maybe make time for it. Okay, I mean, I hope everybody votes. This seems to show that um, a lot of people are. Mm. Gosh, I almost feel like we should... Pray to Ruth Bader Ginsburg. She's just showing up in the center of this. Remember, um, you know, people will argue that Blasey Ford did not make a difference. I think that she did. I think that she became a lightning rod for what um, many women um, have experienced and men too. And that that it just galvanized. It gave us a clear reason why, right? Um, you know, for people who are not necessarily that deeply political, that galvanized a lot of people. Everybody knew what happened there. 
And, you know, the right wing people are going to believe whatever they want. They'll just believe anything. Right. So um, it really was more galvanizing for the left. Now, not all political scientists believe this, but I think that Blasey Ford really made a difference in the last election. And what this shows me is Ginsburg will make the difference. She's raising her fist now <laughs> in my vision. All right. So, um, oh gosh, what, what else could we ask about this? And uh, will this bring upon us more violence? Honestly, you know, you guys, I see, I, I mean, obviously I never saw this, but, you know, those battles that were the beginning of the American Revolution, there were, you know, red coats versus some guys in Boston. Um, that That's what I see. I, I am afraid there may be some um, violent event. It, it actually does look like a, you know, pitched battle. Mm -hmm. I do think that there are going to be consequences to Trump's call for violence. Uh, there will be some violence as a result. I don't think that that will benefit him. I think it will be the reverse. I think it will let Americans know that um, Trump really is a uh, violent and dangerous um, character who leads people to do violent and dangerous things. Keep in mind, this is just another lesson for Americans, for humanity, in how uh, democracy works and how you do have to, you know, you do have to, um, you know, peacefully fight for it and you do have to pay attention and you do have to go and vote. But um, this battle, it's just... Um, Again, it, I don't know how realistic it is because it's like they've got these funny long guns and they don't look normal. They don't look like they're modern. Mm -hmm. It might be one of those things where it just gets nearly, it becomes almost nearly a battle. Now there's guys, one in blue, one in red, and they're standing there with their muskets facing upright. So I wonder if the Christ's going to get very close to some kind of a violent battle and um, perhaps then end. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know where this is and I don't know if it's symbolic, but I see a man shooting from a window in a major uh, city. It's an older city. I get Baltimore maybe, but some older city. Somebody's shooting from a window and they're shooting at, at some place that's like a government building or maybe um uh, where people are lined up to vote i really don't want to scare people and tell them not to vote but this is a, what i see the um the police do come in and stop him i don't know if he's um just I get the feeling he's fired off a couple shots but not killed anyone before the police take him down. And this will be another thing that will remind us that we need a stable government. Hmm. And I have to say, you know, let's beware of violence on all sides. Uh, violence, crazy people exist everywhere on everybody's team. Um, and we have to really discourage them from doing that. We have to discourage that um, in our own camp, however progressive or liberal we are. We have to make sure that people are not violent. Uh, that's just going to work against us in the election. And uh, really, we're going to have to work overtime to stop this from happening, whatever it takes. We have got to stop people from uh, taking any kind of violent action. Protests is appropriate. Protests will work. If uh, Trump tries to stop the election, uh, we really can hit the streets and stop all traffic until this is taken care of. 
Uh, the people who are in positions of power do understand that there are consequences of their actions, maybe not Trump, but you know other people who are not quite so crazy and don't have as much to risk as Trump, they're not willing to you know go to jail. Again, I see Jack Kemp kind of sitting in the, in the middle going, well, how far am I going to take this? Um, crimes against humanity, am I going to go that far? He seems like he's playing it safe. He's politi These guys are politicians, remember that. They will do what they can get away with, not more. Kemp does not seem to think that he is going to uh, stop the counts of the votes. There are uh, certain people in the federal government who would like to do that, and some citizens, but that's just not going to happen in a big, big way. In a small way, they've already managed to suppress some votes, uh, maybe 1% of the population. But um, I do get the feeling, well, let's ask, Spirit, are we going to have problems counting the votes? Yes, we will have problems counting the votes, but uh, it will not be, uh, it's, it's not going to be like they will be suppressed after the vote. Some are being suppressed now. And it needs to stop, but it won't happen. Once the votes go in, most votes will be counted. I mean, like 99% of them. Mm. Anything else about the votes? Strangely, Montana comes up. I don't know why. Maybe that's a contested place. Okay, um, Spirit, is there anything else we should know that's going to be a consequence of this uh, um, death of uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg? Hmm. So look, um, this is just, you know, it seems incredible, but this is just bringing us further along to a point of crisis to a point where we must act and we have to do everything we can peacefully, of course, to um, get, uh, to make this change happen. So uh, that everything's gotta be done. This is just layering, it's like a big bet. It's like doubling down, doubling down. Are you really willing to give up your health care um, for the Republican Party? Are you really willing to give up um, you know, your rights to um, decide your pregnancy? Are you really gonna give up your right to get married? You know, all of these things. And oftentimes it's not, you know, let's give people some credit. It's not just themselves they're thinking about. They're thinking about loved ones. They're thinking about friends. Is it really worth it? You know, am I really gonna not vote and watch the neighbors, you know, lose their rights? Right? I think that there is something very compelling and important about forcing everyone in our society to take ownership of our culture and make a decision. And it's not only just making a decision, it's are we willing to do everything we can, everything, legally, um, peacefully, that we can do? Are we willing to canvas? Are we willing to talk to our neighbors? Are we willing to um, you know, not be too self-righteous. What is required right now, that is what people are going to do. That is what's at stake. And it's about time, you know, um, it's all very well to sit around and criticize your government, but it's ours, we made it, and we have to take part in uh, reconstructing it right now. Okay, thanks so much for watching.